Hey gang, it's your old pal Sam here with some exciting news and things to talk about regarding Avengers Endgame. Today's video will be all about your favorite moment from the trailer. That's right, when it's revealed that Clint Barton has been murdering people in Japan. Woohoo! He's handling the snapping well. What's with the new digs? What's he doing being sad in the rain? Did something happen to his fam down on that farm? Let's dig deep into the comic book lore and search for those answers and more. But first, spoiler warning for MCU films, all of them, and Marvel Comics, all of them, and the hit ABC show Lost. They were in heaven the whole time, except when they weren't. Anyways, let's kick it off with Clint's new outfit. Wow, snazzy. Love the all black look. With a little gold trim. Ooh, yum yum. What we're looking at here is the MCU's first appearance of Ronin, a rather new addition to the Marvel Comics universe. Clint has taken up the mantle of Ronin in Marvel Comics in the past, but it's made its rounds with other heroes. The Ronin mantle first appeared in New Avengers number 11 in November 2005, but originally it was worn by Maya Lopez, aka Echo. Echo is this new character who could mirror the abilities and fighting skills when she sees other heroes fighting. Pretty cool. Fun fact, Brian Michael Bendis created the Ronin persona as a fun way to reveal that Matt Murdock had secretly joined the new Avengers, but due to upcoming stories in the Daredevil solo series, they swapped out the story and introduced Echo. Clint took up the mantle following the events of Avengers Disassembled, where he died, and House of M, where he was resurrected, hiding his return from the public. Alexei Shoshkatov and Eric Brooks have donned the Ronin persona, and in the Ultimate Universe, Ronin was one of Mark Spector's personalities, aka Moon Knight. That's far too complicated to get into, but all the costumes are dope. As for abilities, besides looking cooler than the classic Hawkeye outfit, zing. Big fan of this one, though. Nothing really changes between the user and the outfit, just that Ronan is more likely to be fighting with a sword than anything else. Definitely down for more swords in my Avengers films. Now, what could Ronan be doing in Japan? Well, a Ronan is a samurai without a master or a wandering man, so possibly Clint created this mantle while in Japan with his family, or maybe he just fled to Japan after the snapping. Either way, I appreciate what looks to be the writers attempting to tie that name of that character back to the region that it originated. But now onto the big question, why is Clint wearing this Ronin suit? Well, my theory is that after the events of Civil War and the Sokovia Accords blocking him from acting out as Hawkeye, boom, Nice plug. He's created a new persona to go out into the world and deal out justice if that was what he is doing out there in the rain. Also, I think the MCU has done enough legwork for this transition to make sense, at least skill-wise. We've seen Clint go up against numerous foes in the past with hand-to-hand -hand combat and even turning his bow into a sort of staff or a sword like in the airport fight scene in Civil War. But again, why this transformation? Well, I feel like the story is pretty clear if you can kind of see the pieces and put them together yourself, but it seems like Clint has lost his family during the snap and now he is distraught and without a reason for being very similar to a samurai without a master, aka Ronin, there you go. Now my theory, like I said, is that he's been dealing out justice all over the world, possibly taking out criminal organizations that have been taking advantage of this apocalyptic situation, getting some serious Punisher vibes, but hey, what do you guys think? I could see Clint, aka Ronan, becoming a bit of a wild card in this situation in Avengers Endgame, and I'm excited to see how this all concludes. What do you guys think of this Ronan persona? Would you like to see Echo possibly pop up in the MCU? I know I would. Give this video a like and subscribe to New Rockstars for more content like this, but also check out my show, Only Stupid Answers. You'll dig it. You can also follow me at Sam Basher on Twitter, and I'll see you, gang, next time.